Hey there, Marksman. What is up? It's SwiftShot 2020, and welcome to another tutorial. Um, today is a Blender tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the chroma key on green screen videos. So the first thing you want to do is click on the screen layout and go to compositing. And it'll look just like this. Then you want to click use nodes and auto render. And then you want to go down here where this triangle is, click that, drag it a little bit, and release. And then you have this. So now what you want to do is click on render layers and click X on your keyboard to get rid of that. And drag this over here. We'll need it in a couple of seconds. So now what we're going to do is get our video that we're going to be that has the green screen in the background. So you just click Shift A, go into Input, and then click Movie Clip, and place it right there. And you click Open, and you find it. Mine is called My Movie right here. So here's the clip. And then now what you want to do is click Shift A, distort down here, and then click scale and drag that. And then you want to drag this um, image part to here. And you want to click on the drop menu and click render size. So now what we're going to do is drag this all the way over to compositor and click F12 on your keyboard. So now we have the footage down here below. And the next thing you want to do is click Shift A and click Mate, go down to Mate and click Keying. And you just place that right about there. And right here where it says Key Color, click on this. And then click on this little droplet piece here. Click that and then click somewhere on the green screen. And already it does a pretty nice job you can see it eliminates most of the green but not all of it so what we have to do is go into key color here and just darken darken up our key color a little bit and it'll get rid of that uh, fuzzy background and uh, that pretty much clears it up and if that doesn't work you where it says clip black here you mess with that you pull that up a little bit and it will fix it and that's about all that you need to fix with that so now we're gonna go and get our background image but first thing we need to do is minimize all these so this little thing right here click on that and it'll make it much smaller and you just minimize all those and drag it down here so we have space so now you click shift A input go to image click that right there open it up and find the background image you'd like to use so mine should be right somewhere around here alright so now that I got that I want to click shift A distort scale and once again turn it to render size and connect it there we go so now you click shift A once again go right down to color and then click alpha over and you want to place it in between these two right here and you have to do is where it says image on the scale here you want to drag that and place it on the top one and it'll move the other one to the bottom and uh, you can see the background looks a little weird you just click this right here where it says convert premol and it will fix the background and it'll make it look much nicer so now it looks very well and let me just kind of scrub through a couple frames here and show you that it's for the most part it looks really good all the green is cut out and it's not very blurry at all you can see all of that green from the green screen is cut out so let me just fix some of the settings here so <clears throat> the resolution is set to 1920 by uh, 180. What you want to fix that to is 1280 by 720. So let me just do that. 1280 by 720. So that's fixed right there. Uh, you got to see how many frames are in that are in the entire video. So it has over 200 frames. So what you want to do is go down here and scroll with your mouse to where it says end. And you and um, you just just scroll here and wait a second. 
So you're going to drag this little green bar to just keep dragging out until there's nothing here in the preview screen, which so far there's still image. Okay, so right there it blacks it blacks out around this area. It's still going there. So now you can use the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard to scrub through and see where it cuts out. All right, so this is the last frame right here. Right here is the frame. It shows the frame that you're on, 373. So I'm going to type 373 right into here. So now the whole piece is covered. And now what you want to do is find the frame rate of the video. So let me just go find the video right here. Right click on your video and click properties and it, and it will pop up and show you the details. So the, <coughs> the okay, 29 frames per second. So that is the frame rate. So let me just change that 29.97. Okay, so there we go. There's the frame rate. So now what you want to do is where it says TMP right here. You want to save that to whatever file you want to. I want to save it to my YouTube file. So let me just do that. YouTube, accept. Okay. And now this is the most important part. Right here where it says PNG, click that and change it to um, not a AVI JPEG. And where it says quality, drag that up to 100%. And uh, now we are ready to render it. So right here where it says, right here, right up here where it says animation, click on that. And it will start rendering frame by frame. This will take a while, so I'll show you guys the final product here in a second. Okay, so thank you guys to all who watched. Um, let me know if you want to see more more tutorials like this. And please give me a like if this helped. And give me some comments on things I need to improve on or things that I did well. But uh, yeah, thank you guys to all who watched. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video to all your friends. Subscribe for more content and to become a marksman today. But besides that, don't forget to stay on target. Goodbye.